Good afternoon. It is Friday, September 6th. Skipped yesterday, basically edited and got a car wash after work, but uh, we've all been there. Uh, <laughs> anyways, today I get off and I, I hop in Discord right when I get home and, 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 and I'm, I'm, I'm all like, hey, anyone want to get something to eat? And, and Nick's like, yeah, sure. And we start talking back and forth about what we might want to get. And it, it comes to man i miss pizza street that would be great right now and he's like well isn't that like isn't cc's similar to that is there any of those around and so i look up cc's and yeah they're the pizza buffet yeah but the closest one is like 25 minutes a half hour away and he's like well do you want to go on an adventure for poor quality cheap pizza and i say absolutely freaking lootly so i'm gonna go pick up nick not literally because he's heavy but like in my car and now we're gonna go try CeCe's Pizza and see if it lives up to Pizza Street. Strike one, it's not as convenient. From five minutes away to Pizza Street to half hour away, it's, it's a little more of a, a trek, but we'll see. All right, so we did find it. We, we found a place, it's not just CeCe's Pizza, it's CeCe's Beyond Pizza. So let's figure this out. And here is a specific dine-in entrance. Let's get some pizza and beyond. All right, so for me, it was like 13 or $14. Mm -hmm. For Nick, how much did you spend? Fifty or something? Fifty or something. So yours was about what normal? See, they, they have the buffet and they have pastas and salad and pizza much like Pizza Street did. But they also, they, they have wings for an additional cost. So I'm gonna try their wings. And so that bumped up the price by like five bucks. <laughs> so we'll see if it was worth it. But I was like, let's just try it's just, just a few wings. I think, what is it, like a dollar a wing, basically? Mm -hmm. We'll see. I doubt they're gonna be worth it, but. It's like, you gotta try things. I'm trying something new. I bothered to drive a half hour to get out here. I'm gonna try the wings. So the pizza was seeming all right. It's definitely not the same as um, Pizza Street. Uh, chewy, definitely chewy. Um, so waiting on the wings. I got a little salad, big thing of ranch on the side to go with my wings when I do get them. It's also again there's a create your own personal pizza. You can get one per buffet uh, and allow up to 15 minutes wait time. I'm probably not going to do it, but just noticing that there is an option for that if you want to get if you want to get something customized you can but you can only do one per buffet so there's that yeah still waiting on the thing to you know my wings are ready. and it took longer than i would have liked but i do finally got some wings uh they're actually bone in i didn't expect that oh yeah and uh nick had also pointed out he figured this would be the kind of place that would have had them already pre-cooked and just sitting there but uh, apparently they, they did not cook them until I ordered them because it took quite a while. Probably gonna be all right. <laughs> so the, uh, the chicken was good. I'm not sure a dollar a wing good, but good. The sauce, I got the mild buffalo, was all right. Uh, but the chicken was good enough. I, it didn't end up just being a vehicle for ranch. Because um, uh, the, the actual quality of the chicken was actually surprisingly good. Um, before getting another plate of pizza, I did decide to try out their pasta as well as their cheese sticks. Because, like at, at Pizza Street, cheese sticks were like what you got. I'm trying both types of sauce. And so basically, their pasta is set up where it is just these weird curly noodles and then two bowls of sauce that you choose which one you put on Alfredo or red sauce. The pasta was all right. Um, Alfredo sauce was definitely better than the red sauce, but I like Alfredo sauce better. The uh, cheese sticks were eh. Not so great, but um, got another plate of pizza and I figured I'd show you. Their pizza is definitely a thinner crust pizza or they have this one thing of basically a pan crust option, so. To be fair, <coughs> Pizza Street also had that pan crust meat option. Yeah, but I don't know if theirs felt as thin Oh, well, as far as their uh, normal pizza. Yeah. Yeah. I was talking the pan crust one. Yeah, but their normal pizza is thin. 
kind of we were talking, the idea is almost like makes sense. You know, how do I feel like I haven't eaten anything of substance yet? I'm full. Toppings are fairly light on a lot of things, where it's it's a lot of carbs for what you're eating. Anyways, uh, I figure I'll try dessert before I leave. Got to try uh, compare, of course, the cinnamon rolls. Uh, they also have brownies, so I may figure I might try for that. They don't have soft serve, so there's that. But we'll uh, have some dessert and then head up. And the cinnamon roll was quite good. The brownie was very chocolatey and uh, more like brownie batter with a light toasted brownie outside. <laughs> uh, but it was a shock to bite into. Anyways, uh, it's getting late, it's dark. I ain't done with the day, but my phone's dead, so from here on out, the exploration is blind. Wish us luck. And we're going to the container store, whether he likes it or not. Because apparently, going to CC's put us like one exit up from it, and I was like, I've been needing to go there again. You know, because when I went last time, I looked around and I came up with ideas for problems I didn't know I had. <laughs> but I can solve them. And this is the place to do it. I, I found what was in my head, but I had imagined one that was this height, but this size. Or maybe they used to have it and they're just out, I don't know. You can ask. You can't just ask. So I found this Lux acrylic stacking system that, uh, well, the little drawer pullouts that are completely clear. A little more expensive, but in addition to completely clear, having a lid designed to stack, uh, they also have weird inserts that I may or may not ever need, and it seems like at least it's a line that it's still going to be here to, you know, I get one or two today that I want to get more in the future as my storage needs increase. Um, so I'm thinking I may pick up at least one of these and I may use this as my storage solution. Home. And it's not that I need the storage immediately but I spent like fifty dollars and I got two I got uh, this nice big one here and this smaller one on top of it they're both the same height so they can side by side on the shelves and I can make a shelf be just the height of those but the idea is that they will be storage for both the Dwarven Forge and the miniatures as needed. And over time, I will need a lot of them kind of thing. But uh, for right now, I figured I'd get those two basic sizes. And that would help me, moving forward, make decisions on what to get, what I needed. Um... And, and basically, because of the way the lines seem to be sen set up, it seemed like the kind of thing I'd be able to get matching pieces for in the future. So that's kind of one of the reasons I went for that. Otherwise, as far as CCs, let's tell them that uh, it's not that we'll never go again, but it's maybe once or twice a year when you just really want that unlimited pizza meal. It wasn't great. Uh, probably wouldn't go for the wings again. Even though the chicken was good, the sauce was only okay, and the amount of time I had to sit and wait for them really made it not worth it, but... Otherwise, um, I'm tired, it's late, I'm headed to bed. Thank you for joining me, and join me as my journey continues. Bye.